start off by going to the end of your first clip, select it and simply press the down arrow key on your keyboard. Head over to the video inspector, under transform scale all, set it to 250% and then add a keyframe to it. Head back down to the timeline, go back with three frames using the left arrow key on your keyboard. Back to the video inspector, under transform scale all, set it to 100%. Once that's done, bring out the effects browser, in the search bar, type in zoom. Double click on it or simply drag and drop it onto your first clip. Back to your first clip, press the down arrow key to go to the end of your first clip. Head over to the video inspector, under zoom, set the look to variable and then change the value to 35 and then add a keyframe to it. Back to your first clip, go back another three frames using the left arrow key. Head back to the zoom settings and then change the amount value to zero. Once you're done, go back to the effects browser. In the search bar, type in fisheye. Double click on it. Back to your first clip, press the down arrow key to skip to the end of it. Head over to the video inspector. Under fisheye's amount, set the value to minus 0.5 and the radius to 0.35 and then add a keyframe to both the amount and the radius. Head back down to your first clip, go back one frame using the left arrow key. Back to the fisheye settings, set the amount to 5.0 and the radius to 0.38. Go back down to your first clip using the left arrow key, go back another two frames. Back to the fisheye settings, change the amount and the radius to zero. Moving on to part two of this tutorial, select your second clip Make sure you're at the beginning of it. Head over to the video inspector. Under transform scale all, set the value to 50%. Back to your selected second clip. Right click and then select new compound clip. And then click OK. Once you're done, bring out the effects browser. In the search bar, type in collider tile. Double click on it or simply drag and drop it onto your second clip. Head up to the video inspector. Under collider tile, change the width to 960 and the height to 535. Next, scroll down to transform. In the scale all option, set the value to 200%. Back to your second clip, create a new compound clip once again. Simply right click, choose new compound clip, and then hit OK. Back to the effects browser, in the search bar, type in zoom. Double click on it, or simply drag and drop it onto your second clip. Once you're done, go back up to the video inspector, under zoom, Set the look to variable and the amount to 35 and then add a keyframe to it. Now that's done, go back down to your second clip and then go forward 4 frames using the right arrow key on your keyboard. Back to the zoom setting, set the amount down to 0. Back down to the effects browser, in the search bar, type in fisheye. Double click on it or simply drag and drop it onto your second clip. Go to the beginning of your second clip by pressing the up arrow key. In the fish eye settings, change the amount and radius to zero and then add a keyframe to both of them. Back down to your second clip, go forward one frame using the right arrow key on your keyboard. Head over to the fish eye settings, set the amount to minus 17.33 and the radius to 0.38. Back down to your second clip, move another two frames forward with the right arrow key. Back to the fish eye settings, change both the amount and the radius value down to zero. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm aware that this tutorial is a lot to take in and I really do apologize for that. However, please feel free to pause at any time and play around with the effects and the speed of it using the video animations. And you can also save it as a preset so that you don't have to do it over and over again. Anyways, I hope that this video is somewhat helpful. And if you did find it helpful, please leave it a like and also subscribe for more short Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. Good luck with your project and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.